welcome back to Tech 53. Today, uh, featured product is our uh, heavy duty uh, stub axle kit for uh, Mark 1, 2, 3, Corrado, Passat B3 and B4. This kit was researched and developed in house to retain the proper offset with the wheel. Uh, there are some conversions that are done with the Polo 6N2 GTI from Europe. Uh, these actually bring the wheels inboard from the stock configuration. That's why we decided to take a look at this really closely. The main components that are in the kit are the both the left and the right hand stub axles. They also have provision for the ABS sensor. The other big thing is these come with a hybrid bolt pattern 4x100 with M12 and 5x100 with M14. The discs are also modified in house to accept both of those bolt patterns. When you receive them, you can see there's an insert that's already threaded. And what happens is when you don't need it for the five by 100, you just remove it and use the M14 thread that's already in there. Uh, comes with the uh, OEM nut. The real beauty of the system is it actually works with OEM Mark 1 Scirocco 16 valve calipers, the Mark 2 calipers, the Mark 3 calipers, and the Mark 4 calipers. So you can mount whatever uh, disc that you already have directly on those. And I'll show you on the other side because we started this already. You do not have to do any other modifications to mount our big brake kits in the back. We really wanted to offer the best all around kit that would fit all configuration. Uh, the other thing that we're really proud of is the material and uh, properties of the stub axle. It's made out of uh, 4140 heat treated steel. Uh, it's nitrided. It has a limited lifetime warranty. So I'll walk you through the process of installing them. It's really easy peasy and uh, we'll take it from there. Well, here we go. Uh, Pretty straightforward. Remove the other one that you had before, then install the one. We supply all the graded bolts for the stub axle. Uh, the other thing, if you are running stub axle spacers, we also stock the longer graded bolts in order for you to run the, the uh, stub axle spacers. We have those in stock. It's just a question of communicating, just being sure that, you know, we give you the proper fasteners. They come with all the fasteners that's needed for both the OEM kits and our big brake kits. They're all inside the same package. So the only thing that you need to do is just go ahead and bolt them. For your information, these, as a reference only, torque to 35 foot pounds with some blue thread lockers. The reason why we have button heads is because when we engineered this, the offset for the corrugated wheel in the back of the hub assembly is sits so close to the hub. But these are graded 12.9 bolts. Installing the hub is straightforward. You're going to see with our tolerances that the tight is really nice and, and tight fit. Uh, by the way, we only use Miley German made hub assemblies. For your information, the stub axle uh, nut specs are 136 foot pounds. Right now, uh, we have an OEM uh, caliper carrier for the rear. Uh, depending on batch and whatever, sometimes the offset is a bit different because since they're a floating caliper, it really doesn't matter all that much. But we can see that depending on which ones, we supply some shims, they're two millimeter thick. This one right here does have to be shimmed out in order for it to be you know, really in the center. 
I'll show you after exactly how to center it and, and put it inside. All right, you can see here we have the two millimeter shims there and there to offset the caliper carrier outboard. Uh, what we've done is put the bolts in, put the shims so that way they're sitting there and that way we can just go ahead sliding the carrier on top, slowly do the same on the bottom. Go ahead and torque them down to manufacturer specs. Right now we've got button heads, but in the kits they will be hex uh, graded bolts. Now to show you here, if you take a look inside here, you can see that the rotor is really well centered inside the carrier. Here we have an MK4 caliper. Just go ahead and install it. You can use the MK4, the MK2, 3, and Scirocco 16 valve, which are basically all the same caliper, which is uh, made out of cast iron instead of aluminum. One thing to remember is when you're using MK4 calipers, the actual piston size is, if I'm not mistaken, two millimeter or four millimeter bigger on the Mark IVs than the Mark II, III, and Scirocco 16 valve. What this does is affect the brake bias. If you do install these, you will have to run a proportioning valve or the rear will actually lock up before the fronts. This is really important. Also, one thing to remember, whenever you're using MK4 calipers, the routing of the brake cable is on the opposite side. It goes, you know, it doesn't come from the bottom. So you use the left hand caliper on the right hand side and opposite. So what that means is the bleeder is on the wrong side you have to bleed them upside down off the carrier and then put it back on. On this side here, you see that we have our rear big brake kit for Mark 1, 2, and 3, Corrado B3 Passat and B4s. This kit is very well balanced to go either with our big brake kits in the front or OEMs. In the kit, you will see that there are these button heads for 3 8 24 uh, fine thread for the wheelwood caliper. They are a bit modified in house in order to clear for install, uh, to clear the outside of the disc. It's very well put in bags and well organized and all identified. So no problems there. These are the original rear kits that were developed uh, quite a few years ago. Um, in uh, 2019, the, the car went to Germany, uh, we did the Nürburgring, we did uh, Autobahn at 220 some odd kilometers an hour for quite a long time. Uh, really, really a, a great kit by itself. So if you want upgrade their stub axles and the brake kits at the same time, why not? There you go, right? Like I said, the beauty of the stub axle kit, it's heavy duty. I've seen quite a few specific motorsport application or performance applications where either the bearings are filled or the stub as an axle has broken. With our track car, we need to change bearings every two events or three events. This is no longer the case. This is a bulletproof application. It's, you put it on, you forget it. No matter what you do with this car, this will not break. So, that being said, get your kit today. It's uh, $9.99 on the website. Uh, limited production run uh, on the first shot. So, uh, it takes a long time in order to get the materials lately. So don't miss out and buy your kit today.